We're not talking to uh, – actually, I'm sorry. We are talking to uh, a company here. Uh, I'm going to bring them on here now. Chromadex, CDXC. We're talking to Robert Freed and Kevin Farr, the CEO and CFO, respectively. Guys, good morning, good afternoon, whatever, whatever time it is. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, all right. I believe we have a presentation. Let's bring it up right now, and I'm going to cede the floor to Robert and Kevin and let you guys take it away with Chromadex, ticker CDXC. Everybody, I'm Rob Fried, and I'm the CEO of Chromadex. I'd like to thank the Benziga team for the opportunity to share our story with you uh, this morning, today. As you can see right here, Glo uh, Chromadex is a global bioscience company whose mission is to help solve the problem of aging, a problem that we think is very much wealth, well worth solving. Chromadex has commercialized a patented regulatory approved technology that is sold as a dietary supplement that actually improves the way the body ages, or more specifically, how cells cope with physiological stress and produce energy through mitochondrial function. The market opportunity for a product like that, a supplement that actually improves the way the body ages, is a fairly significant one, we think. We've steadily grown the business to just under $60 million since in 2020 since we launched four years ago, but we're just getting started here. Specifically, the focus of Chromadex is on a coenzyme found in all living cells called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. If you've not yet heard of NAD, we think you're soon going to hear about it. It's extremely popular in certain segments of the U.S. market and very popular throughout Asia and now growing in popularity in, in Europe. The scientific community has been very aware of NAD and specifically our molecule, which is called nicotinamide riboside, for many years now. And this awareness is now reached beyond the biochemistry community in the academic world and now into the food science world, the professional athlete and sports team community, and now the biohacker community. And it is growing at a consumer level as well. Our product is called True Niagen. We generated about $47 million of sales last year for True Niagen, primarily through e-commerce, through our website, through Amazon, and will soon be available in Walmart. We th I think next month it launches in uh, at Walmart. So what is NAD and why is NAD essential? Well, as I said, it's a coenzyme found in all living cells and the biology community has known about NAD for nearly a century. A cell cannot survive without NAD. This graphic that you're looking at right now may be somewhat familiar to you, but when you were in ninth or 10th grade, you learned something called the Krebs cycle, also called the citric acid cycle. It's essentially about energy metabolism. It's the process by which mitochondria that are known as the battery pack or the powerhouse of the cell, you may remember that, converts nutrients from food and oxygen from air into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is essentially the molecule that carries energy throughout the cell. ATP more or less is energy. As you can see from this graphic, every step along the way in the energy metabolism cycle, the citric acid cycle, is some derivation of NAD, NADH, NADPH, NADP, the point here is that in order for mitochondria to do what they do, create energy, they need NAD. The problem is that NAD declines not only with age, but also with physiological stress. What we've shown is that when the cell or the body is experiencing any kind of physiological stress, there's a concurrent reduction in the amount of available NAD. And this is likely because the cell uses the NAD to combat the source of that physiological stress. We lose up to 50% of our NAD between the ages of 40 and 60. There's actually a, a heartbreaking orphan disease called Cockaine syndrome. There are several like it where children age so rapidly that they actually die of old age by the time they're 12 or 13 years old. Uh, these children have very low levels, in some cases, non-detect levels of NAD. Essentially, we all have some form of that disease. 
the correlation between levels of NAD and the way the body physiologically ages is extremely high. The NIH replicated that disease in mice and was able to treat that those mice uh, with the ingredient in trunigen, nicotinamide riboside, by elevating NAD levels in the mice. Not curative, but elevating NAD improves the way these mice and the way the, the body in general deals with physiological stress. In 2013, Chromadex launched niagen, which is our word for nicotinamide riboside. Our consumer product is called true niagen. We launched the consumer product, True Niagen, in 2017. There are now 11 published clinical studies that show that Niagen safely and efficiently increases NAD levels in humans. There's over 100 total published studies, including the animal and preclinical studies. But at this point, there are 11 human clinical studies validating this. And we're talking about from some of the best researchers and publications in the world. Additionally, Chromadex is a very strong patent portfolio around niagen on the process, on the method of use, and most importantly, on the composition of matter. And of course, niagen is the only form of nicotinamide riboside that has been afforded, awarded NDI, uh, new dietary ingredient status, as well as grass status by the US FDA. But we've also received regulatory approvals for niagen from the European Food Safety Authority the Therapeutic Goods Association of Australia, as well as Canada Health. The research has shown that daily supplementation with true niagen increases NAD by 50 to 40 to 50 percent in just eight weeks if taken at our recommended daily dosage level, which is 300 milligrams per day. True niagen is by far the most efficient way to elevate NAD levels and has been reviewed and accepted by multiple regulatory bodies and extensive safety and toxicology studies that support its safety. Just to give you a perspective of how big a deal nicotinamide riboside or what we call niagen is, Chromadex started essentially as an ingredient company, a company that uh, we did uh, standardized, we tested ingredients, we gave consulting to ingredient companies, and then we built a small patent portfolio of our own ingredients, including nicotinamide riboside. If you're an ingredient company and you get a phone call from a prestigious research institution, like Harvard or Cambridge or Mayo Clinic, saying, we know that you have this ingredient, we would like to do a study at our expense on your ingredient to see if there's efficacy for some disease state or some condition. But if you get a call like that, that's a pretty good call. And if you get 10 of those calls, you got yourself a great ingredient. Since 2013, Chromadex has signed agreements to supply the agreement for research at their expense with over 225 of those research institutions. Niagen is a big deal. Niagen is a very unique ingredient. It is very rare that an ingredient comes along like niagen. You've got to go back decades. You go all the way back to maybe omega-3, but it probably is more important even than that. We estimate that all the cumulative research that's being done or is getting done on nicotinamide riboside is, represents over $75 million of research, not paid for by Chromadex. As you can see from this slide, not the one that you're looking at, but some other slide referenced here in the script, the research addresses a broad range of conditions, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, neuropathy, diabetic neuropathy, heart failure. What nicotinamide riboside does is it elevates NAD. When you elevate NAD, you increase energy metabolism and you increase the cell's ability to repair itself. So anytime the cell is under physiological stress, in essence, all you're doing is strengthening the cell. Therefore, it makes some sense that it would have some therapeutic benefit or prophylactic benefit for a whole host of conditions, but especially those related to aging. 
The national, uh, the World Health Organization defines aging as the accumulation of damage at the cellular and molecular level. If you help the cell to, imp to address that damage and increase the metabolism of, of energy, it makes sense that you're gonna help improve the way that cell and the body ages. The body of research that's being done is expanding beyond basic pharmacokinetics and basic safety, and now into the important areas of human health with large addressable markets. The chart you're looking at here groups the ongoing clinical trials by intrinsic capacity, which is defined by the World Health Organization, different classifications of type of research. You can see the most prominent areas of research are vitality, locomotion, and cognition. Vitality, locomotion, and cognition, these are the areas of greatest concern as we, as we age. A simple example of a newly registered clinical study is recently uh, on clinicaltrials.gov, uh, a new study uh, which we are doing in conjunction with Mass General and Harvard Medical School uh, is the impact of niagen supplementation on what they call long haulers. Uh, this is a COVID-related study. It will include 100 patients with persistent cognitive and physical symptoms at least two months after a COVID-19 illness. As I said, this is being conducted by Mass General and Harvard. We believe that it's, an impo it's important to deepen our understanding of potential nutritional solutions to manage long haulers. We look forward to the results of this study as well as the many, other, many others that are presently being conducted. Chromadex's scientific advisory board is critical for us and help guiding the strategic direction scientifically of the company. We don't use the SAB simply for marketing purposes. These are experts in our field specifically, and all of them are doing work in some way on NAD or niagen. Dr. Brenner, when he was on the faculty of Dartmouth, actually discovered nicotinamide riboside and niagen and the NR kinase pathway, which revealed a highly efficient way of boosting NAD. He is considered the world leading expert on NAD. Dr. Roger Kornberg is a professor at Stanford Medical School, and he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2006. Actually, his father, who Arthur Kornberg, was also a Nobel laureate, was the first to investigate nicotinamide riboside more than 60 years ago. Dr. Rudy Tanzi is the Vice Chairman of Neurology and Director of the Genetics and Aging Research Unit at Mass General Hospital, and the Joseph P. and Rose Kennedy Professor of Neurology at Harvard Medical School. He's considered one of the world's leading experts in Alzheimer's traumatic brain injury. He was listed recently in Time Magazine as uh, one of the 100 most influential people. Sir John Walker is a Nobel Prize winner and Emeritus Director of Mitochondrial Biology at the University of Cambridge. Dr. Bruce German is a leader in food, nutrition, and wellness innovation at the University of California, Davis, presently leading a study to investigate the effect of niagen on milk production among, uh, among mothers in the neonatal intensive care unit. We have preclinical data to suggest that mom produces more milk, and if the babies receive uh, milk through mom while she's supplementing with nicotinamide riboside. They are healthier, stronger, and actually have larger brains. Dr. Bruni Felding is a renowned bre breast cancer researcher from Scripps Research Institute, and she is focused on NAD supplementation. And new to our SAB just in the last month or so is Dr. David Katz, who's a world-renowned physician and clinician in preventive medicine expert. As I mentioned before, Chromadex has developed and licensed an extensive patent portfolio around NR, as well as other NAD precursors. We currently have over 25 owned or licensed patents protecting our intellectual property, and we're constantly strengthening this patent portfolio. We've had to invest aggressively in protecting our patents, and we are currently in uh, aggressive litigation about those patents. There are infringers aggressive infringers, and that's impacted our income statement and obviously our balance sheet, but we think it's very, very important when you have something like this to establish early 
that we will protect what our shareholders own. Slide 12, this slide highlights the company's transformation and progress over the last four years. It was four years ago that we decided to launch our own consumer brand, True Niagen. But the company began about 20 years ago. It was an extremely well-respected ingredient testing company in this, uh, in this industry. Chromadex later added an ingredient business and developed impressive scientific ingredients, one of which was niagen, nicotinamide riboside, which we believe has the potential to be one of the most important ingredients of all time. Since we made the decision to focus on our consumer brand in 2017, we've raised nearly $100 million with very prestigious investors. We've secured regulatory approval in Canada, Australia, and the EU. We've launched products with blue chip partners like AS Watson Group and Nestle Health Science. We've launched cross-border and international markets like China, Japan, and the EU. Among many other important strategic deals for the company. We did all this while attracting a strong management team with experience in building global brands. Uh, including Kevin, who will speak shortly, who was the CFO of Mattel for 18 years. And we recently added two new strategic partners, Health and Happiness, or h, &H Group, and Roe, who will be selling our patented niagen ingredient and co-branded products in, uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, in, the, in the coming months. Slide 13. This slide shows our current global distribution footprint includes cross-border e-commerce platforms, retail. We're found in retail right now in, in, in Hong Kong, Singapore, Macau, Canada, UK, a small amount in Australia. And as I said, we'll be launching in Walmart in June. But the bulk of the business has been e-commerce and third-party platforms like Tmall and, and Amazon. And we have this, the e-commerce business has consistently grown. It has grown very, very steadily. It represents approximately 60% of our sales today. Customer retention for our online sales is extremely strong. And we are uh, always collecting data, analyzing data, and leveraging those customer insights, insights into optimizing the digital advertising and driving great business with new customers. The company has a very, very strong e-commerce capability at this point. Uh, built up over these past four years, and we expect that to continue to be a backbone of this enterprise. A.S. Watson is the world's largest international health and beauty retailer. They have uh, about 15,000 stores across Europe and Asia. We currently sell, as I said, in Hong Kong, Macau, and Singapore. Also, Superdrug in the UK, which is a subsidiary of Watson's. It is by far the number one selling dietary supplement in Hong Kong today. Uh, we had we signed a uh, supply agreement with Nestle, Nestle Health Science in December of 2018, and they launched their first product featuring True Niagen in September of 2020. That product is called Celtrium Cellular Energy. It's part of a larger Celtrium line of products, which was highlighted in their annual report as an example of innovation in their portfolio. We're proud to be in business with Nestle, and we expect that relationship to grow with time. Last quarter, we announced that TrueNigen would be available in 3,000 Walmart stores in June. They've now expanded the store count for a lower dose, more accessible price SQ, SKU to over 3,800 stores, which obviously signals their commitment to the launch and to expanding their NAD plus supplement category with TrueNigen. Slide 16 highlights our steady growth of TrueNigen. Sales with the lower bar represents the e-commerce business and Upper dark blue bar represents the Watsons and other B2B businesses. And with that, I'll turn the call over to Kevin, our CFO, to cover the financial highlights. Kevin? Thank you, Rob. Good morning, everyone. I'll begin my, by highlighting the progress we've made over the last four years as we pivoted to build a global consumer business. We've grown at almost 50% on an annualized basis expanded gross margins from 48% to over 60% and are approaching break even on the underlying business, excluding legal expense. For full year 2020, we delivered total net sales of 59.3 million 
a 28% year-over-year increase with true NIAGE and growth of 31%. Gross margins of 60% up approximately 400 basis points year-over-year. Year. Lower selling and marketing as a percentage of net sales and an increase of only 2.7 million versus our outlook of three to $5 million. A decrease in general administrative expense of approximately 500,000 versus our outlook of one to two million increase. The underlying business is measured by adjusted EBITDA excluding legal expense, a non-GAAP metric posted a full year loss of only 1 million compared to a loss of 8.8 .8 million in full year 2019. We ended the first quarter with 44.7 million of cash, including our recent 25 million capital raise. With the incremental cash, we have a clear line of sight to cash flow break even, even with the potential uncertainty surrounding litigation. It also enables us to invest more in our R&D pipeline, as well as brand awareness campaigns to capitalize on the growing interest in NAD supplements globally. For full year 2021, we expect to deliver continued steady top line growth, including growth in our e-commerce business and growth with existing and new strategic partners. We expect that our sales growth rate will accelerate beginning in the second quarter. We expect modest gross margin expansion to slightly better than 60%. We expect that selling and marketing expense will be up slightly as a percentage in that sales and that R&D will be roughly flat as a percentage in that sales. Lastly, we expect that GNA, excluding severance and restructuring expense and legal expense, will be up slightly in absolute dollars year over year. In summary, we're close to achieving positive adjusted EBITDA, including total legal expense. As always, we'll balance this near-term objective with the long-term opportunity to capitalize on the growth in the NAD plus market globally. With that, we're now ready to take questions. And I know there was a couple of questions, but unfortunately we are out of time. So the ticker is up on the screen. Let's throw the website up as well. Well, there, it just was up on the screen on the presentation there. Uh, guys, thank you both so much, Robert and Kevin. Uh, thank you both for the presentation. Thanks very much.